Hey there everyone, Itaish here and welcome to Next.js Crash Course. Next.js is a framework built on top of React.js. So saying that you should know your JavaScript or you should know React is pretty much redundant because it's built on top of that. And also Next.js is a framework. That means that there are certain rules and certain way of doing the things you need to understand the flow of how to work with Next.js. It's almost similar how you work in other frameworks and other libraries, so it's pretty much same with that. There are certain rules in it, uh, we have to follow that. So what we're gonna do in this uh, kind of a more than a crash course, calling this a crash course would be a little bit smaller than that. So we're going all in in the Next.js. We are going to build a full stack application. We will first to learn how to connect database with Next.js because there are certain ways which are done differently in the Next.js while connecting with the database. Then we're gonna learn how to define our models. We're not gonna go with 100 different properties, but I want to keep it simple so that you understand and focus on working with the flow of Next.js. After defining the models, we are gonna learn how to build a full fledged REST APIs in the Next.js. And of course, there is a different way of how you take down the APIs compared to other applications that you might have built, like uh, using the Express or uh, Nest.js, uh, something like that. So this is going to be different. Once we have built the entire REST API in that, then we're gonna learn how to consume these REST API in the Next.js itself. So this is going to be a pretty fantastic application. I have kept it really simple so that we can focus on the workflow of the Next.js. And in the meantime, you can also enjoy doing all the things. Now I have divided the videos into smaller and understandable part because that's the best way of following any tutorial. But my YouTube manager told me that I should pack all these videos and launch that as a big one video because that gets views. So I'll be doing that as well. But anyways, this is all the plan as of now. Let's go ahead and get started right here in this video and have this one. So go ahead and open up your terminal or any uh, command prompt what you say. So go ahead and work on with that. Now what we're gonna do is first uh, make sure the node is installed and a good way of finding that is node-v and it should give you, as long as it gives you any number, any version is installed, that is totally fine for us. So let's move on with that. I'll be moving on to my desktop and I've created a new folder which is YouTube, so that's where I'll be keeping all the stuff. And the easiest way to do it is just like you say create React app, this time we're gonna say create next app and then you have to name the app. The plan for this application is to create a secret manager. So we're gonna be keeping the identity of the superheroes a uh, kind of little bit protected here. So that's the goal of this application. So let's call this one as simply superheroes. So that is uh, gonna be how we are gonna be working with that. Heroes, hopefully that's cool, okay. This is going to take just a tiny bit of seconds to go through and work with that. Uh, let me fast forward that. Okay, so this is all done. And now we can go into this directory, which is superhero. Let me bring that on the top. There we go. And I would like to run this via my code editor. So I'm gonna fire up my VS code. And yep, uh, looks like there's some update issues going on. So that is okay, that is fine. Okay, so this is how the application is all looking nice and easy. Now, first thing we're gonna do is open up our inbuilt terminal of the VS code and we're gonna run a simple command, npm run dev. This is how Next.js run in the development mode. The best way always is to go into package.json and see that how the scripts are. So here we have dev, which runs actually next dev. We have build, start and linting as well. We won't be going too much into that, but this is how you should be looking up for. So npm run dev, dev is the command and this is where it opens up the default application, localhost 3000 and voila, you have your new Next.js application. It's pretty simple to work with the Next.js once you get a flow of how things actually works and you're gonna love this also. So moving on, we're gonna do just one thing to actually get you understand that how the flow actually works on is we're gonna open up this pages folder. Here you're gonna see default there's an API folder. We will be touching them later on and there is an underscore app and there's an index.js. Now this index.js is the by default file which Next.js serves and there's a mechanism in the Next.js that whatever the files you create inside this pages folder, they are by default, uh, they by default becomes as a route and you can just have them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep this as it is. Let's go ahead and create another file in the pages folder. And we're gonna call this one as simply uh, about.js. 
So this, what happens is, you don't need to install any router further on top of this, and this is gonna give you a route, which is going to be slash about. But there is nothing inside the file as of now, and there are certain rules that you have to follow. That means every file that you're gonna create need to export if it is in the pages folder. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and get a syntax of uh, RFCE, which is React Functional Component, in case this is bothering you a little bit. Uh, you can always go ahead and have a const, and then simply get an about just like that, in case this is bothering you. Otherwise, the previous syntax was also totally fine. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a simple h2 tag here, and we're gonna simply say about page. And that's it. That's all what we're gonna do. Now, as soon as I do this, I can now go into Next.js and can simply say slash about, and the page is ready for me. So this is how the basics of the Next.js work. Now, surely there is a lot more that we need to understand, like what is this underscore app.js is doing, and when this file actually runs, it has a lot of impact on its own. And then we're gonna be working a lot with the API as well. Now, just to give you a brief overview, inside the API, there is a hello.js. Again, in the Next.js, the most of the importance is given to the file name. Yes, there is a function inside it known as handler, but we don't have to call it handler. We can call it Superman. It doesn't really bother us much. The whole idea in the API is that if I go into this API and look for the hello, then it's going to execute this function. What I mean by that, if I go into slash API and slash hello, then it actually serves me whatever I am throwing out as a response. So this is how you build your APIs inside the API folder. So Next.js has its lot of trick up its sleeves and we're gonna explore all of them. Let's keep these videos short and we're gonna just keep it right up here only. Let's catch up in the next video and discuss more about Next.js.